You got guts, I'll give you that. Now try using your brains. Give up that gun, or I'm the last person who sees you alive and in one piece. I'm taking you back to the lobby. They know someone smart and patient will save me, someone who knows the difference between the time to act and the time to just wait. All right, so I'm not exactly what you would call a realist. What do you mean? Well, when I want something, I usually just go get it. I don't stop and ask myself the important questions like, is this really good for me or do I have the right to want this? I just make it happen for myself. So far, I'm not hearing a problem. Well, then I haven't made myself clear. Okay. Who I wanted. A married man. A cop. A cousin by marriage. <laughs> I mean, I had a crush on this guy since I was in high school, and I used to tell myself that I would do anything to be with him. So, I actually did. So it was all your fault. Whatever happened? Well, one day, Lucky asked me to lift pills for him from the hospital where I volunteered. I know it was wrong, but Lucky was in pain at first. I knew Lucky only cared about me because I was getting him drugs. So I just kept getting him drugs. It was a no-brainer, really. One day, I kissed him, and eventually, we took it further. Mm, it sounds stupid now, but... I had convinced myself that if I slept with Lucky, he would see how much I loved him and he'd value that and he would be with me. But he didn't. Big shock. <laughs> he just used me the whole time. Hey. Uh, my son is in surgery right now fighting for his life because of you. And a dear little girl is lying shot on a hotel floor, maybe already dead because of you. And my granddaughter is at the mercy of armed gunmen who could kill everyone in that hotel, all because of you. I don't remember what they want. Oh, please. Just know I never meant for anyone to be hurt. You brought the criminal element into this town and you spread it around. Now you're playing dumb to avoid the consequences. Well, I won't have it. Now you're going to pay. And you are going to pay mightily. And I won't rest one more night until you do. The threading's going well. The large area of damage is exacerbated by the amount of time you had to wait to get help. If you can't offer positive direction, I would really rather you say nothing at all. We're going to get him through this. Who are you trying to convince? Alan. If he can hear me, I want him to fight for his life as desperately as I am. I know what you want. I also know you're not going to get it without help. When Alcazar stashed the briefcase in the vault, he added a little extra protection. The briefcase is an equinox. That's right, an equinox. A state-of-the-art little number with a built-in self-destruct mechanism. That means... Pulling up in there, waiting for the vault to open isn't enough. You need the code. I have it. I'm willing to trade me and the code for the release of the hostages. I knew this had nothing to do with the robbery. I knew Alcazar was at the center of this. I heard the guy outside. Why is he being such a hero? Obviously he has someone special at risk. He said his name was Spencer. Spencer, Spencer, Spencer. Isn't that your name, little Lulu? Hey, I'm talking to you. Who's that guy outside to you? Speak up, or mother and baby go bye-bye. He's my father. Good girl. You've been such a great help. That is only getting started. Come on. We can all get what we want here, Craig. Wait, hold your fire! I'm right there. This is 
going to be a very simple choice for you, Luke Spencer. Give me the code, or your daughter dies. Simple. BP is dropping, 88 over 42. Increase the dopamine drip to eight mics. We're starting to lose him. SDs are elevating, damage is extending. Come on, Alan. Clear. You want this patient to live, you let me take over. Do you have a distance mic? Yes, sir. Use it. We need to hear what's going on in there. It's okay, Lulu. It's okay. Mr. Craig is too smart to shoot you. Because killing my daughter will guarantee you'll never get that code. Let her go. Set the other hostages free and I'll come in and I'll give you the code. And when the vault opens, you punch it in. You take what you're here for and get your people out. Everybody's happy. I have to question your timing. Alcazana's girlfriend must have known the case was an Equinox. They made no attempt to get the information to me, so why are you here now? Well, you see, Alcazar's a little under the weather. Bullet fragments floating around in your head do that. You're bluffing. I think that if I want to wait for the vault to open, I'll get what I want, and then use the hostages as leverage for my escape. That's what I think. Are you really willing? take that chance? I also think that there's someone inside that means a lot to you. The pregnant nurse, for example. Give me the code, or watch your daughter die. And then I'll bring Elizabeth, and then you can watch her and the brat that she's gestating die too! It's not working. He's gonna have to get the code. Luke doesn't know the code. Do you know which one is Jason? He may not get a clean shot. He could even shoot Lulu. Oh, come on, Craig. You don't want to do this. You're too smart for this. What do you think you're doing? Give him the code, Luke. He's already shot two people. He'll kill Lulu unless you give him what he wants. Finally, the hothead, I believe his name is Nicholas, makes himself useful. He's telling the truth. I will kill her. So what's it going to be, Mr. Spencer? The code? Or Lulu's life? 